There's over 100 million electric exit signs in the United States. And every one of those exit signs have lots of things that can go wrong. They use a lot of unnecessary energy and they cost a lot of money. Let's kind of break that down a little bit. So all electric exit signs either have to be powered off of a backup generator or they have to use batteries. Some of the concerns about using a backup generator is that generator fails, which happens more times than you'd realize. You've not only lost your emergency lighting, you've also lost your exit signs. So that way your people would not only have no emergency lighting to show their way out, they also can't see those exit signs. If you're using battery powered exit signs, there's a cost associated for those batteries because you're constantly having to replace the batteries and test the batteries. And then you also have to pay for someone to actually come up and replace that battery for you. So you can imagine those costs can be, you know, sometimes 10 to 20 to even $30 per sign per year. For a building that has thousands of exit signs, that can really add up. Then you have electricity. Electric energy exit signs are energy vampires. They're constantly soaking up energy 24 hours a day, 365 days out of the year. They are on all the time, constantly soaking up energy. And even if you move to the newer, higher efficient LED exit signs, that doesn't eliminate the electrical draw. There's still that requirement that's out there. Then finally, you have testing. By NFPA 101 requirements, you're supposed to test all electric exit signs for 30 seconds once a month and for 90 minutes once a year. If you don't do that testing, gosh forbid there's an emergency and you're not able to provide that testing log, you can get in significant fines and damages. Then you have the light bulbs. LED light bulbs do tend to last a lot longer than the compact fluorescent and the incandescent light bulbs, but they don't last forever. LED lights are not meant to be on 24 hours a day, seven days a week like they are with exit signs. And as a result, those LEDs tend to get really hot, it starts to burn up the capacitor, and you may only get a few years of uh, electrical light out of your LED exit signs. And then finally, you have the cost associated with fire code violations if you're not doing your regular testing or if the fire department comes in and does an inspection and finds one of your exit signs is not working. But there is a better way, and that is photoluminescent exit signs that don't require any light bulbs, they don't require any electricity. They don't require any batteries. They last in Lumware's case, 25 year guarantee, lifetime expectancy, and there's absolutely no maintenance that are required. Some of the benefit Lumware has is over 35 different styles of exit signs, ranging from different backgrounds like our green background exit sign using a poly metal material. This is an aluminum material that's clad on the front and back with aluminum and a special type of poly um, material in between. We have a brushed aluminum exit sign that looks a lot nicer. And then we move into our patented exit signs, one sign that we're all very proud of, and that's our clear exit sign and our mirrored background exit signs. These are great in Class A office buildings, hospitals, any areas where you really want to make sure you increase um, uh, the aesthetics of your exit signs. So just to wrap up, electric exit signs are expensive, have a lot of things that can go wrong. With photoluminescent exit signs, no batteries, no light bulbs, no electricity, no testing. And the most important thing with Lumware, all of our products are made in America by the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. So you have people that can't see are making products to help those of us that can see find our way out of the darkness. And then finally, all of our products are UL listed and tested to meet the UL standard, which is required in the building code, fire code, and also the NFPA.